everybody, I'm Shiva, and today we will be demonstrating a stabilization locked on effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Shiva, I appreciate that. Um, now, to achieve this locked on stabilization effect, I already have this clip down here of uh, Shiva. Okay, let me swing back over here. Uh, as I said before, I've already got this clip down here. Now, um, what I need to do is go into Fusion. I'm still figuring fusion out it's still a little confusing to me but i'm slowly learning okay what we want to do now okay we have we want to lock find a part on here basically what we want the tracker to track which is called a planar tracker or planner tracker or something of that nature but okay what we want to do is click on median and then click on shift key then your space bar and then you want to type in planar tracker and then make sure median is selected because it's on it's going to automatically connect in between these two nodes here your in this is basically your in and your out nodes so we're going to click add now see that popped right in there like that now what we want to do is go up here to tracker click on hybrid point area and click on uh, translation click on that and then you're going to hit control and you hit your little scroll wheel to bring this up closer now i'm going to track this thing here bring it in closer this little logo right here whatever it is so I'm gonna go around this like this just clicking to make sure this connects okay once that's connected I'm gonna scroll back out with control in the mouse and the little scroll wheel on the mouse this is a planar tracker now what you want to do is set point, which means you want to click on this up here, which is a set point because you have to tell the program where you want the tracking to start. So I'm going to click set right here. And then what you want to do is check this right here. You want to click on this right here and this will start the tracking to the end until you stop it. So I'm going to click track. And when this when this is finished tracking, I'll press the stop. And you can see right now it's doing a really, really good job of tracking. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Go back to the beginning. Bring the uh, playhead back over here. And it tracked this very well, very well. Uh, DaVinci Resolve has a very, very excellent tracking capabilities. So now we, what we want to do is um, add a transform node. So we want to hit shift and space bar again, type in transform. Add. Now they just added a transform node right here automatically. If you don't have planner tractor clicked on, it won't add it in here. You'll have to manually add it yourself. So now transform the tracker node. You have to go up here and click on stabilize. So after we've clicked on stabilize, I'm going to play this back. And see how it goes. Okay, see how it's tracking? It's basically tracked on this right here. Now, see this coming up right here? I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna play a little bit more. These little things down here at the bottom, if you see in the picture, let me see if I can, if it'll come back. Uh, right over here in this area right here, we don't want that over there. So with the transform node is, we have to click on that, and we have to bring the size in to make that disappear. 
bring it in about right there. And then I'm going to start to play again. So that should be disappeared by then. Now it tracks about right here. That's the set point I was telling you about where I wanted to uh, where I wanted the program to start tracking and see, make sure none of these are showing up. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back into the edit tab. And uh, this is just some other stuff I had in there, but I'm going to go back to the edit tab. Make sure we don't see any black areas over here. See that black area is over here. We got to get rid of that. So that's what the transform node is for right there. Now I'm going to go back into fusion. And then I'm going to uh, let me go ahead and play this back from the beginning. Let me bring this out control out a little bit more. Right there, that's better. OK, I had the double box the multiple display box selected. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the beginning. And it starts to track right, right about here. Now you see this over here, this area right here, we don't want that. So that's what the transform node is for. So we're gonna zoom in some more like that. About right there, and that'll get rid, that should get rid of that. We're gonna go back into the edit. Play that again. I'm ready. You can just walk normally. Now we shouldn't see any black bars anywhere around that. If I do it, I have to. I'll have to go into the. Oh, I saw one over there. Right there. So we gotta go back into Fusion and uh, zoom in a bit more. I'm going to zoom in just I'm going to crop in just a little bit more and that should get rid of that. Go back into the edit tab. Let's play that again from the beginning. Ready. You can just walk on. Now this right here, what you see right here is untracked. Now it's going to start tracking pretty soon right here. Now it starts to track stabilized, locked on uh, tracking and it's locked on to this little emblem right here. And I don't see any black bar. So that's good. So that was excellent. And, um, uh, Basically, that's how you do it. It's very simple. Um, I really like this effect. Uh, you can Google or look here on YouTube and there are other uh, videos uh, showing this locked on stabilization. I really like the effect. Right. If you are someone who shoots music videos, this is uh, an excellent effect uh, within uh, DaVinci Resolve very very nice ready you can just walk and i'd like to say thank you to the particip the participants of this video um if you like videos like this consider subscribing uh, give it a thumbs up hit that like button it really helps my channel consider subscribing it doesn't cost you any money it's no subscription it's free no money comes out of your pocket Till the next video, peace out, y'all.